tense from both teams, but I said a bad start by Splice in the map is really cost them. Yeah, yeah, I would say so as well. And for a second, in the end, you know, when the OK started getting his goal streaks and the Bent was lighting things up as well, I was like, you know what, they, they might come back. But uh, going on to that fourth heal and the fifth heal, they just weren't able to hold it good enough and uh, make that rotation early enough. Infused, you know, twice they've had that initial control of the, of the bunker heal. Once they were able to hold it for like 40, 50 seconds. And uh, Splice really paid the cost for that now. We've got to slow things down, we've got to calm down, we've got to forget about that loss if you're Splice. We're moving to SND. Complete different game type, complete different way of playing it, and it's going to be a hunt on, on, Hunted. It's one of those maps that we only see in SND, and uh, yeah. it's quite an is interesting one. Yeah, it, it's, it is going to be interesting because, I mean, obviously we do see primarily everyone going towards B. That seems to be the favoured bomb site, but sometimes when it is mixed up to A, it can cause problems for both teams. So. Let's see what's going to happen in the ban and protect for these two teams. We are going to the second map. And Fuse did take the first one. Yep. And apparently that um, that stock ban didn't work out so well for Infuse because Ben's played really well regardless. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm not expecting to see it again. However, PT is going to ban the, ban the frag grenade. So I wouldn't be surprised if they chose to ban the H60 next. Yeah, uh, potentially overkill going to come yeah, in there as obviously. well. So, Trying yeah, to shut I mean, down the Zero Sniper. Yeah, because Zero is very, very strong with it. But, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we see an MR6 ban yeah, coming in as well. I see Frag, Semtex, next is going to be H60. Are you sure? Uh, pretty much. If they're doing that, it means they don't want to... Ah, you are wrong. There you they, go. They, they don't want to bother using Gosh. Flat Jacket. Yeah, they want to be using after. I, I, I was just taking. I was, yeah. I was, I was been trying to be funny. Oh, okay, you were. So that, that's English humor. Sorry, it's still a yeah, new, it's uh, still a new it's thing to me. Yeah, just crest humor, <laughs> <laughs> which is not the best from what I heard. But well, I'll uh, give you the benefit of the doubt for until the end of the game. I'm not very well, you know. Hmm? I'm not very well. I'm ill. Oh, uh, is that your excuse now for not yeah. being funny? Yeah. I'm not funny at all. So we, we, no, we should not. be good. You're funny looking. Well. Until then, <laughs> we've missed, <laughs> we've actually missed the end of the ban. We have it. we've got yeah. it on the screen. It's okay. Yeah. High caliber flashbang and the rapid fire. Were the so last no, three. it checks. Yeah, I was, I was wrong. Nope, you're completely wrong. Uh, yeah, I was. That, that's that's just being French. I'm that's, not gonna, I'm not gonna argue. I am not gonna that, argue. That's with my you. excuse. Speaking of French, if you did want to watch the Millennium Epsilon game, that is on our feature stream. But if you don't speak French, then you'll have no idea what the casters are saying. Cause yeah, well, I French. speak French and I have no idea what they're saying. Really? No, I'm j it's, it's just, yeah, it's carnage. I'm just joking this towards is your my... French uh, humor. Yeah. yeah, it's just, <laughs> so, uh, well, just uh, joking towards my good friend Carnage on the other on the French stream. Uh, obviously, now players into the specialist draft um, are going to be choosing pretty similar, except for yeah. Josh picking Overdrive over U uh, Urban using Glitch. I mean... The overdrive pick is a big one for an attack or defense. You know, we'll, we'll see a rush come out of it at some point, but I never like overdrive in uh, SND. What, would you rather pick Glitch? Uh, yeah, especially on that map. I've seen Gotaga use it earlier, and every time it was so spawn dependent because he was in defense and he was trying to rush onto that B bomb, but every time he had a bad spawn. So even though he used overdrive, Whalers had a better spawn and it was there before him even though Gotaga used overdrive. So it's quite interesting to see the influence of the spawn. If you have the best spawn and uh, you use overdrive, then you're going to be very fast on the bomb. But then if you want to use overdrive at a certain point, you're like, okay, this round, I want to rush on that A bomb using overdrive. If you got like the worst A spawn possible, then using overdrive is, is pretty much no, you, no good use. Uh, whereas on the other end, we have, we've, seen, we've seen glitch time and time again being so um, so influential in those key moments just it allows you both to make a kill or to stay alive so sometimes it can be used aggressively or defensively okay well i i appreciate what you're saying but i still think it's going to be used to i, th I think it can win rounds for people we'll you see know, the overdrive it can be one of those things but it's a risk as you said I, I agree, so. it takes you away from your team as well if you got a good spawn it takes you away from your team so if you're running into two guys, then it's it's an issue oh, yeah, because then, you've got no one, you've got no one to support you, I no mean, one to trade. Typically, we would see it used towards B, but it, as said, you do need the rest of your team sort of within range of you because yeah. you need the cover fire potentially. And that B rush now, it's so predictable. Now I see all those good teams that just they, they sit back and they wait for that B rush and then they go methodically because there's it, it, it's been overused. I think it's come to a point where we, we've seen players use that B rush way too much. Well, we are going to load into the game in just a second. It is going to be Hunted Search and Destroy 
in this semi-final. Splice taking on Team Infused. Splice on 1-0 down though. They did lose that first map. In, I mean, Infused were pretty convincing. It has to be said. I mean, I know we said it was a bad Splice, a bad Splice from start. A bad start from Splice. Uh, and then from then on in, you know, they matched them, but it, they just were too far behind. But moving into this one now, it's completely get different game mode, Search and Destroy and Hunted. And Splice can possibly bring this one back. Is Zero going to be using a sniper or whatever? Because the uh, MR6 is in. So he doesn't really need overkill because his MR6 is as powerful yeah, as the SMG. Yeah, that was, that was the one of the questions I was wondering. But he's if not using it. That. Nope, he's not using any sniper, at least for this first round. He might be using it for the attacking side yeah. rather than the defending side. Yeah. Which I mean would we make can sense. see he's using the CUDA he wants to get in close quarters. Uh, let's okay. see what Hoggy can do. He picked up a good position, but not really in a good enough stance to try and get that shot off at the start. Couldn't get that his aim quite like, right. Literally, a second away, you would have seen the guard draw, yeah, drop uh, on the bomb. You can see Bats is pushing on towards that bomb. Oh. Spotted him, and Zero just gives him the quick elbow to the back of the head. Bats goes down. And that's so unfortunate. You know, he got himself into a good position, but really smart player by Zero. That was really reckless off Benz as well, just like trying to go on that bomb and plant it straight away. There was another player uh, right in front of him anyway, and I think he, he'd seen him, and he, he was he was going to go for it. So I, I don't I don't really know what Benz was trying to do here, just hoping there was no one, but just seemed quite weird. Now, a 2v4 situation for Spire is going to be very tough, especially with the way oh. the Infused players are playing, and now it's going to be Oki left in a 1v4, and good luck, my friend. Well, you know, he has produced a couple of good things for his team so far this weekend. Let's see if he can do it now. Not going to happen. He does just get pin set in. Marky B with a pistol in the back. back. Marky does take him down. Doesn't see in the round and kill cam here, but that is going to be 1-0 to Infused. Yeah, the Infused captain just uh, shutting it down in the first round. It's going to put Infused in the lead once more. And uh, Spice just seems to, to be running after Infused. It's, it's literally what it is. Well, just an update from the wow. other game. Epsilon a 1-0 up against Millennium. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Rated dropping a 40 bomb. Yep. Joe managed to get a Wraith. That, and the that's score the was 250 race. to 121 in the other semi-final. Uh, score well, um, updates brought to you by Chris Trout. Thank you very much, Chris <laughs> Trout. And uh, that's the second race for Epsilon in today because Rated got one earlier on stream against Fabi. So, uh, you know, they can they can eat up. But I'm not surprised that Epsilon took the off uh, our, um, Millennium on our point. Anyway, uh, moving back towards Infused against Splice. Now onto the second round. 3v3 situation. Scrap that as Josh makes a kill now. A 3v2 again. Kills being traded as Urban drops uh, onto Vortex. And now a 2v1 situation. It's going to be zero. Can he be the hero in that round against Splice? He's going to find that first kill now onto a 1v1 situation. Oaken zero. Two very young players. Who's going to keep his composure? Is it going to be the break for uh, Infuse leading 2-0 straight away? Or is it going to be Splice coming back into that game? And it's going to be zero with the 1v2. Yet to die onto this map. Three kills to his name. And now 2-0 in Infuse's favor. Oki just not expecting zero to come here. Zero coming in with that final kill there. I thought I'd just let you take the cast in there for a bit. That was all right, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, you did all right, considering yeah. you don't speak English. Yeah, consider. Oh, I speak oh, English. Speak I'm not yeah, English. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to talk about what you said at breakfast the other day, are we? No, we're not. We, we're, we're clear <laughs> not, because otherwise we're going to start talking about your French, which is a conversation we can't have because it doesn't exist. <laughs> Either way, anyway, back to the game. 2-0 to Infuse currently. I, I, I called in Infuse for that map. Yeah, well, you yeah, called I actually called Spice, didn't I? So, yeah. Yep, let's see what happens. Spice can bring this back. It's only 2 0. Yeah. Don't worry about it, Jonas. On Let, board with Let's see who has the cod break. Oh, he's got the first shot down, but it doesn't get the second. Zero out shoots him with the M8. My prediction not looking great. If Mans keeps losing gunfights like that, Josh has jumped inside. B now. Let's and look he is going to survive, but Vortex goes down. Here comes the HGXT. Uh -huh. Not going to happen, though. Black Jacket obviously enabled, but Trey and Urban. Zero going to push into there, and Hokey does go down. Josh is left all on his own. Four members of Infuse chasing him down. Picks up one, though. Not in a bad position here. It'd be big. Holy hell, he did pick up second. Not the third, though. And, it, you know, that was always going to be yeah. a tall order. When you play, oh, you play a team like uh, like Infused, they're always going to go, like, all at once. And there is literally no chance yeah, they're very to make all those skills. They need to be Unless you have a specialist. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, if you're it's, it's calculated aggression, if you yeah. like. Yeah, no, absolutely. And you know at 2-0, there's never going to be any specialist. And uh, I think it's even a good thing to rush. 
Josh, because you make sure not only that is not going to be able to make that 1v4, but that is not going to be able to go on any streak at all. Because you could have picked up those two kills and gave up on the round. You saying that? And I just mean, saved the, the, the two streak. Who did Josh take down? Well, importantly, he didn't take down Zero. Could you yeah. just quickly look at Zero, see if he's close? Uh, 100 off in, in uh, his dart. So, I mean, Zero just needs to kind of kill it to yeah. I think he wouldn't mind having a dart. Well, they're just taking their time here in Fuse this time. We have seen B Josh pushes isn't. mostly. Josh is in a good position, but... Josh is just trying to find that first play, and he's going to be able to do so as he gets Run. the headshot Run. onto Biddy. And uh, just stays alive. No trade coming in from Infuse. Kind yeah. of a that maybe works. a mistake. Yeah, that works out for Splice. Josh pushes in there, gets the kill, gets out. Ooh. And he knows where the bomb is. On board now with Hawkey. Quite interesting, because Markaby is is literally pushed all it's the way back in the cave. Yeah, push. Both these teams are just infused into each other without what? trying to use the team. Zero the gets game. a kill on the Josh and Mark B gets a kill on the Vortex. And suddenly it's a three versus two in favor of infused. Zero does now have that dot. He's not far oh off his lightning strike either. Hawkey Ooh. looking for the kill. Has spotted him. So that, that would be a nice kill to make. Up. That would be a nice kill to make because of the lightning strike. It would be a very nice kill to make. Let's see if he can do it. Hawkey. Not in a bad position here. Does have Bantz for company as well. They are chasing down oh. zero. The shots have went in. Is Bantz going to look towards it? Nope. I think he's probably realized they are planting the B zero. Could no. be very, very close to his line. No. He's going to get it as well. Takes down Bantz. Is he going to be able to get the kill on the Hawkey as well? Turns it around. We can see he does have that lightning strike. Is zero going to be able to it. close things out here though? And take down Hawkey as well. The answer is no. Oh. Hawkey takes him down. But he's now in a one versus two. Can Hawkey continue this on now? He does have Urban. And Marky beat the contest with an only 25 seconds left. Yeah. yeah, that's that's going to be very, issue. very, very, very hard for him to defuse this bomb. Let's see if he can do it though. On board with Hoki. 18 seconds or so remaining. He needs to make this kill. And the second one very, very short after as well. Oh, is he going to try and think about a defuse as well? On board with Hoki. He's going to make the first kill on the Marky. He's going to be able to the second as well. The oh, glitch away by Urban is just about going to save. I don't think Hoki would have had enough time. Urban <laughs> makes the kill anyway. That's going to be 4 0 to infused. Yeah, 4 0 to, um, to infused. And uh, they're really playing a game uh, against Oki and, and Josh because. Benz and Vortex are yet to pick up a kill in four rounds. That's really scary for uh, four players when uh, when you have the players putting up this kind of this kind of numbers. It's a, it's really a tricky situation, and the uh, Vortex needs to really really to step up now because it's been two maps at the road that he's been playing pretty pretty bad. Yeah, he has he hasn't played fantastically, and now infused four nil to the good. As we look at that scoreboard, I said Benz and Vortex not able to get a kill as of yet. Well, they're trying to change things up here. You can see they're pushing it towards here, and they are going to be called out. Somebody from Infuse was in that top balcony window. They didn't have a look. Josh takes down PD, so that's going to open up things. But we can see in the top left corner, Infuse are pushing themselves. Oh, Bats is in a lot of trouble. Here comes the lightning strike, takes down Josh as well. Vortex answers back with the kill, and the market gets taken down instantly by Urban. And suddenly, Hawkey, sorry, is now in a one versus two, and it's going to be very, very hard for him to pull this one off again. I, I do not understand. I, I did not calculate that Zero added li his lightning strike. It only takes you to open your scoreboard to see his score, and then you know he, he's got a lightning strike. And if you know, you don't push on the open side of the map, you go towards cave. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I do I, not understand. I agree. I mean, it, 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 it seems... Like, oh, oh, I mean, no. that's so, that is, that that, is that, unfortunate. That, yeah, that <laughs> is really unfortunate. He can actually pick it up. I, I believe he can pick it up. It, it would be a bit hard for him too, I feel, but 30 seconds it, remaining. Does he have after he burner? He doesn't even have, he the, does. he he doesn't even have the option of picking this moment. He's in a lot of trouble, though, because Infused are now 5 0 to the good. Urban takes him down. Splice not looking too good here. Yeah, it just looks like it's 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 just Infused playing league right now. Oh, yeah. They're yeah playing I mean, arena. Yeah, they're, they're just in a different league, if, yeah. you, if you like it at this moment in time. Infused looking very, very good. Bans yet to pick up a kill. He was the hero for Splice on that last map, although they did lose it. He had a very good game. But currently, not able to pick up a kill in five rounds. You've and once again, yeah. I don't understand the, 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 uh, why they pushed A. Uh, I think it was yeah, it was a strange decision. I mean, I think, you know, B hasn't worked for them at all. Zero must, so have, been, must have been, oh, right, cool, <laughs> oh they're going God. A. That, that, so that was just my chance of using a lightning strike, because usually you see those lightning strike in, uh, in s and being more useful for the actual ping of knowing where the players are I like than for the actual charge. I like this from yeah. Urban. He's got, he's got to hold the HCXT, and he's using it just to scout out See, somebody is pushing up. It's actually Hawkey. Just having to think Does about pushing up. The HCXD is there. Hawkey's in a lot of trouble. Is he going to be able to get away just about? The HC does not blow up around him. But PD has went down from a few, so this might be an opportunity for Splice to get around on the board. Urban gets the kill on the Josh eventually with that HC. And let's see what they can do. Both these teams now tied up 3-3 three, three in terms of 
has left alive. Let's see what Urban can do from this position, though. His team are 5-0 to the good. They only need one more round to go 2-0 up in the series. Yeah. Involved with Urban. Does Urban the bomb. Ooh, 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 dart. Hey, That's dart. an issue. Yeah, uh, takes down Hockey. Hockey goes yeah, down no. to the dart to the face. Can't do anything about that, Not can you? Nothing at all. And now there is two members of Splice left to try and keep them in this map and potentially in the series because this is going to make a 2 0 to infuse if they can't do something. Vortex takes down zero. He's going to make it a second kill. Yes, he is. Could this be the catalyst for Splice to come back into the game? Vortex does have shots being fired onto him as well. Marky makes the first kill. He's going to make the second. Oh, oh he did pop the, the heat wave. Not going to be enough, though. Vortex takes him down and gets around on the ball for Splice. Oh, finally. Yeah, I know, finally, man. I mean, it's... It's going to have HC as well. very, it's very painful camo. for them to get this one back. Because now he's camo available and the HC XD. So possibly a route back into this game for Splice. Do you have this thing in the UK where someone goes like 07, he becomes a special agent? Yeah, we, we call it uh, a James Bond. Yeah, like. yeah, the James I mean, Bond, yeah. That's what I think I call it came it. from the French, actually. I'm pretty sure what, it did. So the 007, yeah. James Bond came from the French, did it? Yeah, yeah, I think the joke, not not the actual gems one, because it obviously well, comes yeah, from the UK. Well, yeah, I know, but it, I mean, you're, you're just you're just talking rubbish now, aren't you? Yeah, no, I, I was, I was, but I'm really hoping for Vance <laughs> is, is not pulling it because it's a it's a very tough situation to go zero six, and every single death that you add to that is just like it's awful. And you start going zero seven, zero. You ever eight. went double zero seven? Uh, I have actually. <laughs> it doesn't again. surprise me. No, I have. You've and lost it was, to me, Alan. You're trash. But I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> I hadn't played the game because it was in um, a last season at Cot Champs against the Italian team. Yeah, all I hear is excuses. On board with Urban, <laughs> defending at this moment in time. Let's switch it up. Let's go on board with somebody from Spice. But they are 4 3 to the good in terms Ooh. of numbers because Petey has went down. Pants hey with there. The SVG and he out. picked up his first kill. Oh, he has done. Wow. Wow. We missed that completely. And he was uh, talking rubbish about James Bond. Yeah, it only, <laughs> it only took seven rounds for him to pull out a sniper and pick up the first kill. So well, it's worked out for him. I he forgive him. He does have the RK5. In so as well, so you can definitely use that to his advantage. Urban gets a kill on the Vortex, so answering back. Now three versus three. Josh with a kill on the zero. Maybe releasing Splice to do something once again. Josh on the aggressive. He's on the hunt here. Is he going to be able to make this kill? Marky B does take him down. But Splice is surely going to be thinking about a bomb plant. It is now two versus two. You can see Lance planting the bomb. The bomb goes down. If you're going to have to do something here, uh, Urban and Marky B taking on Hawkey and Bantz. Bantz only just getting his first kill. Bantz has a sniper as well, so... Maybe a bit of a disadvantage for him in the position that he is in. Both these players very close to each other. Ants goes down to Urban's M8. He should have waited Hockey for is left on his own. Yep, but I think he should have waited for Marky. Okay, not going to have his synthetic armor uh, to help him aim anyway. It's a 1v2 situation. He's got a lot of work to do. Oh, Marky B and Urban. Been spotted by Marky B. The bomb's going to yeah. be defused. Infused are going to win the second map. 6-1. Very convincing from them. They are 2-0 up in this series and are looking to advance into the grand final. Yeah, and very unlucky from uh, Oki because uh, I think he uh, he kind of went outside the water, saw that player on the right side, he's like, all right, they're still looking for me. They're not defusing. And uh, then check that bomb and then work in his favor. Urban was on it and it's going to be it did 6-1. Very, very, very strong performance out of Infused. And uh, I think they're just a very strong SN team. When you look at um, Urban and Zero going 10 and 3 and 9 and 3, very, very big plays out of them too. Yeah, I mean, if you're putting up those sort of numbers, you are going to And Josh? Yeah, uh, Josh nine and seven as well. So good work by him. I mean, nine kills, but uh, nine kills to his name, but only one round to his team. Yeah, that's it's got to be a, a yeah. painful one. It's I annoying, mean, very annoying. But at the same time, Petey went two and six, and his team won six one. So true. <laughs> I mean, true. It's just one of those things where you just have different players oh, and, and different yeah. teams doing well, and sometimes it pays off for you, sometimes it doesn't. Infuse two nil to the good. Now, if I remember rightly, you said that you think Spice are going to take this up link. Yeah. Um, I think I think this is one of the maps where they can they can take it. Um, I'm I'm really hoping um, that they're gonna go for the camo ban, even though I know Josh loves to use it on um, on uplink. But I think one of the best use of the camo that I see all the time in uplink is zero. Yeah. So I think if you splice, you gotta ban it. Just make sure that zero can't use it towards his advantage. Now, um, this is splice last chance to uh, stay alive in the series, and uh, you know it just. 